Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Car Question. Matt is a real happy guy today because I'm rolling the Toyota Tacoma. This is not the first time that we did a video with that vehicle. You've seen me towing, you've seen me rolling, you've seen me using the auto LSD feature. When you press that button, it's not a locker, but it's a system that's going to make the traction control setting more aggressive. And we are rolling a double cab trail edition. Well, is there anything trail about the Tacoma? The answer is no. You've got some black accent and you've got those rock guards that are kind of disguised with some step, but they are not useful at all. And you've got a Tacoma, which is kind of looking like the usual one. So a trail model is not a TRD off-road and it's not even a TRD Pro. Still, you're going to be able to go off-road. You've got some pretty resistant tire, but it seems that the Japanese doesn't understand what a real aggressive tire is. You know, those Duratrac KO2, you know, those tires that are gonna give you awesome grip when you mention trail, when you mention off-road on your truck. Usually when you get into Japanese territory, you've got some soft tire. Okay, they're using Kevlar, but this is not impressive. How well is the Tacoma going so far? Well, it's an old vehicle. It handles like an old vehicle. It's bouncy. It's not really fuel efficient. I had the chance to roll up to Charlevoix. And this was right there in the fuel consumption of my Toyota Tundra. Even if I step on it a little bit, the sound of that 3.5 is not impressive. The reaction, I used to love the 4.0 liter way more than this one. I hope when they're gonna change the vehicle, they're gonna make something a little bit better, more refined, more fuel efficient and faster. And you've got also the look of the paint. By the way, I kind of forget it that it's not looking like some quality paint, will it? prevent some scratches I don't know but how can they arrive to such a quality of paint when they've got such an amazing paint in the Lexus lineup they should try and use that it would be cleaner how about now the choice for the TRD off-road version are you gonna gain something with the crawl mode well we did some roller testing and that vehicle even if the traction control system is really aggressive when you've got only one wheel with traction you're gonna be able to get out of those situation but guess what when you add the TRD off-road package with the locker in the rear with the crawl mode it turns the Tacoma into a beast. You're gonna be able to do some awesome thing off-road. Even when we did the diagonal testing, we just put the crawl mode on this Tacoma and it could climb so easily, steadily, not really fast though with the crawl mode. And if you put it into the lower setting, it kinds of bounce everywhere and you've got that nasty sound inside the cabin but still it's amazing how there's a big difference on how far you're gonna go off-road so even if you mention trail on this one and you've got the TRD off-road package please choose that one so how does it do when you compare it to the other vehicle in the segment because I'm going to tell you the truth. The Tacoma is not as refined as the competition that you have right now. When you look at the Ford Ranger though, the Ford Ranger in this is in the same situation. It's kind of older. You can see it from the inside. It's going to have a brand new redesign soon. And I hope to see something real amazing. And you've got also the price of the Ranger, which is really close to the Ford F-150. At the time that we did that video, there is some a problem with availability. And there used to be a lot of rebate with the F-150. Now they're kind of gone, but it's gonna come back. And one thing is sure, from a price point, the Ranger will need to be more aggressive. The Tacoma is more reliable, but the Ranger is a little bit more comfortable and still as capable on or off-road. How about the Ridgeline? Well, the Ridgeline is kind of a city truck. There's no low range, but the comfort is just awesome. The bed is not that big though, and you've got some neat feature, and you've got that redesign also, so that they kind of make the, the ridge line more aggressive over time. So I kind of like it, but not if I'm gonna go into off-road territory. You've got also the Colorado and the Canyon. Those are really nice trucks. You've got the diesel option, which is available, perfect for towing, but reliability has not been up to the reputation of Toyota. So there's still a lot of contenders. Also, you can see some little small truck that used to be just like that Toyota pickup truck in the past in the year 
90. So Ford is attacking with the Maverick, which is base on the Bronco Sport and on the Escape and it's front wheel drive hybrid so brand new technology you've got that cargo box which is big enough for a lot of people that will only work with the truck it's not all wheel drive though with that small engine but still the price point is just amazing you're gonna pay a lot of money for those Toyota Tacoma resale value is just awesome I know and that's the big question that you need to ask yourself before you sing your name on the contract. Are you willing to sacrifice some comfort, some fuel efficiency for an awesome, reliable machine? Tell me that right there in the comment section down there below. Do a thumbs up, subscribe, and make sure that you watch the roller test and the diagonal test that we did with our Toyota Tacoma. Still such impressive machine, but there's a price for that. So subscribe, I'll see you another time.